Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies, bringing you another painting tutorial. Um, this time it's the first in a new playlist, a playlist that I'm quite excited to, uh, to get started and help you guys along the way with. Um, one of the projects that I want to do is the, the basic infantry model for every single army in the game. So you can look up my channel and find, you know, a fire warrior painted, you know, a Necron warrior painted, a basic space marine painted, um, and so on. Inside of that, I also want to show you how to paint all of the different Imperial Guard regiments. So I've just finished up the first video, which is going to be um, a basic Cadian infantryman, normal tan fatigues, green armor, Cadian, the backbone of the Imperium. Millions and millions of these guys all over the galaxy and hundreds of them in most uh, Imperial Guard armies. So I've put together a quick painting tutorial showing you guys how to get these two guys done um, uh, quick and effective. Um, I hope I like what you see. Um, and in the future, I will be doing, you know, a Vostroyan, a Valhallen, Talaran, Mordian, Praetorian Guard. Every single Guard regiment that exists or existed um, will have a miniature painted up for you guys to check out. So without further ado, enjoy the first video, enjoy the Cadian Infantryman, and um, yeah, stick around to the end. <coughs> okay, and here is the miniature we're going to be using for this tutorial. He comes from a basic uh, Cadian Infantry box set, one of the new ones with the upgrades. So he does have one of the new upgrade, or two of the new upgrade parts. He has a, a nice head, and um, the bolt pistol in his right hand is from the new kit as well. <coughs> so we're going to start off with Skeleton Horde. And we're going to be using this contrast paint and applying it all over the fatigues part of the miniature. If you're wondering how I base coated or sprayed this miniature, it was an all over coat of Chaos Black and then a zenithal of Grey Seer. So from the top pointing down, um, giving a light dusting to the miniature, leaving all the dark parts in the shadows, but uh, all of the bright Grey Seer on all the top parts. And this is how I prepare 99% of my miniatures um, for using contrast. So there's the Skeleton Horde being applied. Gives great coverage and almost gives you the perfect color for Acadian. And that is the Skeleton Horde fully applied. As you can see, I hit the belts and stuff in the midriff. That's okay. We're going to be covering that up with a darker color, so it is okay. Next, we're going to move over to the Militarum Green Contrast Paint. And we're going to be using this to put the first coat of green onto all of their flak armor. So you want to be a little bit careful here. The green will stain the beige parts, and we do not want that. It's given an absolutely stunning color right out of the pot. This miniature gets to the stage just before the wash, and I honestly stopped and looked at it for a second and was like, you could leave this miniature here, and it would still look fantastic on the tabletop. I mean, just look how good that chest looks. Quick coat over the shoulder pad. And there we have it. Katie Infantryman with his uh, military green contrast on all the bits that are going to be green. Next, quick coat of Fire Slayer Flesh. And this is just to... Uh, Color in his face and his hands, the only two bits of his uh, skin that are showing. And you can see me doing the, the stabbing motion just to get it under the uh, flak helmet, um, in and around all the different parts. You don't want a little air bubble popping and revealing a bit of grace here left over. So stabbing motion, make sure you uh, get the uh, color all over the face and then you can just pull away the excess. <coughs> Same with the pistol. Want to get it between all those fingers and everything. We haven't painted the metallics on the gun, so we can be a little bit sloppy here. And there's the face done. Face and hands done, sorry. Moving on to Wildwood. This is that darker color we're going to use for like his webbing, his belts and stuff. And like I said, it's a much darker color, so it goes over the, uh, the tan color of his fatigues. Absolutely no problem. And that's absolutely no problem as long as you don't um, stray. Like I said, this is this is going to cover the fatigue color quite well, which means try not to hit the fatigues with it. Mm -hmm. 
Now we have the wild wood parts done. His belt and his uh, harness part. And he also has a, a bandage thing around his arm. I've done that in the same colour. Now come over to our trusty Black Templar. In my head, the universal boot or footwear colour of the 41st millennium. If you're not a space marine in power armour, then you probably have black boots in my head. Just a quick coat, nothing fancy. Just get it done. There you go, he's got his black boots. Now moving on to the slightly longer stage, which is the lead belcher base coat. This guy doesn't have that much metallics on him, mostly his weapons. He's got his belt buckle and he has an Aquila symbol on his uh, left breast and on the, his uh, helmet there. This is where you need to be careful. You don't want to hit the green casing or the hand. Any base coat, including especially metallic base coats, gives great coverage. So we'll cover over those bits you don't want it to cover up. I always like to put in that tiny bit of extra effort, which is to actually make the, the gun casing green to match the armor or another color if it's red or whatever. I mean, I know you can do these weapons in all silver, but I just think it adds something nice to it. Looks like a mass produced piece of military kit this way. Okay, this is all the base coats on the miniature. And this is what I was talking about before. If you have a hundred of these guys to paint, taking them to this standard, this point, they will look fantastic. You can leave them like this. You deploy 20 of these on the table, people are gonna look at them and think they look great. But if you do have a little bit of extra time, then we're going to follow through, do a wash stage, and then we're going to layer up. The uh, wash that I've chosen is Agrax Earthshade. It's a little bit darker than I normally like. I'm normally a fan of the Sepia. But this is a more traditional shade for the Imperial Guard Regiment. We'll cover the green well, the metallics, um, and uh, that green armor. Like I've said before, load up the miniature with too much wash and then pull it away from where it's pooling. Drag it back off the miniature, make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. And this is the miniature after the shade has dried. As you can see, it's darkened it down quite a lot. Even I was surprised at how dark it went, but that's still fine. We're gonna be building up all these colors with a bit of layering now. The first one is gonna be Tolerant Sand. And we're gonna be using this to add a little bit more color back into the fatigues but leaving that dark washed cloth in all the recesses. My camera's having another moment where it likes my hands more than the miniature. I'm sure it'll come back into focus now in a second. I do apologize. So there's the idea with the fatigues. As you can see, I'm just bringing it back up with the color into it, but leaving all those creases nice and dark. And this model is about 60% fatigues. So spending a little bit extra time and making sure that you get those right um, will really make the model pop. So here we go, here's the fatigues done. You can see the amount of it on it now with the rest of the model still quite dark. Now we're gonna use Wa Flesh, our base paint, uh, to layer up the armor. Cadian armor is one of those funny things um, in the painting world. If you got 10 guys who said they all paint Cadians and you put their basic Cadian infantry all along each other, they would all be slightly different colors. Um, I tried a couple of different greens before I landed on Wa Flesh for the layering stage. And I just think it looks great. It gives fantastic coverage, so you don't have to do multiple coats, which makes the process quicker. And it leaves a stunning result for the armor. All you do is take your time and get it on all the green. And that's the result. I was really pleased when it came to this stage. I thought so far the uh, fatigues and the armor were looking really well. Time to pull those small um, parts of skin uh, back up a little bit. And just some uh, basic Cadian flesh tone for that. 
but just focusing on those high parts again you know the drill tips and noses uh, cheekbones chin if you can get at his forehead there is actually a slight um, rim of forehead running along under the helmet and there we have it that's the skin layered up moving on to rhinox hide we're going to use this to uh layer up the belts and harness parts I was originally going to do Mornfang Brown for this, but I think it was too bright. And then when I went back and checked what the traditional color was, it was more of a black. So if when you're doing the uh, black boots on these guys, you decide you want the webbing to be black, then go ahead and do that. It will also look fantastic. Me, I quite like the brown leather look, so a dark Rhinox hide and just a nice layering. Already, I'm really pleased with how this model is turning out. Time to bring some of that silver back to life. This is a super quick job because there's such a small amount of metal in the uh, miniature. As you can see, I'm trying very much to leave um, lots of the little crevices really dark on these uh, pistol parts I'm not going to layer up in between the clip at all as you can see I'm not applying a lot of paint whatsoever just a few select layers and here we have our completed Cadian infantryman I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope, like me, you're excited for the uh, the future videos where we delve into all the other Imperial Guard regiments. Um, if you did like the video, think about supporting me, subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and drop me a comment below asking me any questions you have or letting me know which uh, Imperial Guard regiment you want me to do next. So uh, until the next video, guys. Bye.